thought you said that when the charges were dropped, everybody would stop harassing you. No one's harassing me. It takes a while to get over something like what Christina went through. The scars are a lot deeper than what you can see on the surface. No, I know. It just doesn't really help if the cops keep bringing it up. Then we already established I'm not just a cop, I'm her brother. And I gotta do everything within my power to make sure she never goes through what she's going through right now, ever again. Yeah. So I can get the facts straight. But you can help me, keep her. I mean, you're a boyfriend, you were around, right? No, I was at a party. Oh. But Christina was supposed to be with you. Well, that sounds like as good a place as any to start. In. Oh, Blaze. Hey, Luke, it's been much too long. Mm. Tracy, you haven't changed. Nor have you run out of available men. Who do we have here? The reason your father tried to push me out of porthole. Your father? Luke, you devil. He's adorable. Well, I've heard so much about you, Sky. Can I get you something? Some privacy would be nice. Hey, come on now. We were just getting to know each other. Oh, and this is where the resemblance ends. Yeah, I suppose he gets his manners from his mother. Holly Sutton, in case you care. Oh, well, I think it's wonderful you two found each other. I, myself, went on a search for my birth parents. I wasn't as successful, but I did find a different kind of family. Yeah, she found me. Yeah, that she left you for a psychopathic gangster. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, it'd be nice if you all went away. We've got a lot to catch up on. You're absolutely right about that. So, tell me, what have you been up to? Kay and I were supposed to go to some party with a couple Harvard guys. Keeper's going to Harvard in the fall. He's yeah. going to be a lawyer. Hmm. I told her how important it was to make a good impression. But Christina never made it to the party. No. Okay, uh, okay, canceled last minute. She lied to me because of Ethan. Look what happened. Well, that doesn't mean she deserved to get attacked. No, I never said she did. It's just, you know, if, if Ethan hadn't sent the wrong signals and messed up her thinking, Kay never would have ditched me to be with him. Keeper's right. No. No, he's not. Look, Kay got the charges dropped so she could forget about what happened. You know, we both just want to go back to the way things were. Yeah. Hey, you remember that conversation we had outside back before we knew we were brother and sister? For some reason, you felt comfortable enough to talk to me. We were nice. You were talking about guys that use girls for sex. You were talking about Kiefer. So, uh, Dad wanted me to work with you, follow up on Christina's attack. Yeah, that makes sense. If Ethan's proven innocent, Sonny will take that news a lot better from you than he would from me. <laughs> so, what's the lead on the attacker? She's a boyfriend, Kiefer, man. That kid has a huge chip on his shoulder. That's exactly what I've been thinking. Uh, I didn't like the vibe from his parents when I was trying to interview him. But Kiefer and Ethan both had reasons to be upset with Christina that night. Ethan because she made a scene at the casino. Kiefer because she bailed on him to hang out with Ethan. Mm -hmm. So who was a violent streak? Most abusers come from abusive homes. But Kiefer's parents are squeaky clean. There's no domestic violence charges on them. I and mean, Kiefer, the only thing he's ever suffered are minor injuries attributed to sports. Yeah, but I'm telling you, man, they were unusually guarded. I mean, his parents were just... Uh, there was something going on there. All right, well, what about Ethan's background? He, he never said that his adopted parents were violent in any way. I and mean, from what he told me, they were just the opposite. So Kiefer's parents are either protecting him or themselves or they're my son on. Yeah, well, they don't want to risk their son's future at Harvard because of the daughter of a mobster. You know, parents have covered up worse for their kids. Whoever Christina's protecting is who beat her. Now, conventional wisdom says you always look at the boyfriend first. Yeah, but she won't ID him. He won't admit that he did it. And, and Kiefer's parents may or may not know, so we got to come at this from a different angle. I got the name of the guy that threw the party that night, the one Christina bailed on. Yeah. So I'm going to interview him, 
Okay, well, I'll talk to the Davis neighbors, see if anyone saw something. All right. Oh, also, Jason spoke to Christina early on, and she told him that Ethan showed up less than five minutes after Sam brought her home. But Sam drove directly to the Haunted Star, and Ethan was still there. I don't, I don't know why Jason's even involved in this. Just be happy that he took the time to think it through, because if Sonny had his way, Ethan would be dead already. Sonny wants blood for what happened to Christina. All things considered, it's probably not the best idea for him to rack up another dead body right now. Maya, is it? I'm Luke Spencer. I was a great admirer of Mary Mace, and Justice was a good friend of mine. I met your son, Lucky, earlier at the old house on Royal Street. Oh, yes, yes. I'm not very fond of that house myself, except that's where I met Mary May. It was an honor to know her. Isn't this wonderful? Sky and Maya both here in the house. It's not often that our house has family these days. Let me remind you that Sky is not a quarter main. Fine. Then I won't have to watch my back around her. Tracy, what have I ever done to you? You know what? I think I'll make a list and I'll email it to you in London. Don't you love the warm, fuzzy feelings here? Okay, people. I uh, hate to break up the family reunion, but Sky is here to see me. Oh, 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 oh nonsense. What would Sky want to see you for? Now, when you find out, do yourself a favor and run it by me first. I spoke to Kiefer's friend, the guy who hosted the party, and according to Jordy Stewart, Kiefer was furious that his girlfriend blew him off. He left the party early, somewhere between 8.30 and 9, and Jordy didn't see him at the party after that. All right. Well, I talked to one of Alexis's neighbors. Yeah? She said she got home around 9.30 and was nearly sideswiped by a light-colored SUV speeding out of the Davis's driveway. What does Kiefer drive? A silver SUV. And at 9.30, Ethan was still at the Haunted Star getting reamed by Sam. This still isn't good enough to hold up in court. Who said anything about court? What are you doing? More coffee for our guests. No, 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 no. I'm shutting this party down. Do you have any idea the combined net worth at that table? You keep your hands off Sky's net worth. She's mine. Now I gotta ask you something. Con to con, thief to thief, man to man. I need your help here. Okay, it's gonna cost you. All right, I understand. We'll uh, negotiate the price later. I want you to get the old man and young Maya out of here, and then I need you right close behind them. Off you go. Do your worst. Oh, oh that's really going to cost you. <laughs> yeah, I love the pictures that you sent. She named her baby girl after my dear Lila. Hey, Maya, I should probably take a look at the damage to your car since it was me that ran you off the road. You did what? It's nothing, really. But the less he has to do with it, the better. Oh, Maya's just being nice. I am not. No, I, I, I feel terrible about it. She ran right off the road. Yeah. You are a menace, young man. You shouldn't be allowed to drive until you can tell you're your, your right from your left. Come on with me, dear. I want to know exactly where this happened so that this rapscallion can make retribution. Come on. It's fine, Edward, really. Listen to me. The first lesson of the day is that no quartermain ever gets taken advantage of. Neither does a ward. No. Oh, Sky, we'll see you back at the house. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, I should probably go show them right where the accident occurred, so you two have fun. I'm a little pressed for time. I have practice. Coach doesn't really like it when we're late, so... Ah, you know what? This won't take long. I mean, the fact that you came back is proof that you care what happens to Christina. Of course I do. We love each other. That's a powerful emotion. Love. They should do all kinds of crazy things. I know I do when I'm in love. I act like a complete idiot. <laughs> Yeah, well, the good outweighs the bad. Yeah. So I'm still trying to figure out how that night went down when Christina got beat up. Yeah, me too. How pissed off were you at Jordy's house that night? All right, well, he's off. Lucky. I mean, he was blown off by the girl who supposedly loves him. All right? It was an important night to you, right? Christina should have had your back. Yeah. You bought Christina that dress so you could show her off to those college guys, right? Must have been a real... Kicking the teeth to have to show up alone after you've been talking her up like that. Uh, she's my girl. We're always talking it up. <laughs> Except she didn't want to be your girl that night, did she? She wanted to be Ethan's girl. Lucky. <laughs> Cut the guy some slack here. You got dissed by this girl. I mean, for an older guy, no less. I mean, I don't even know what I'd do if my girl did that. <laughs> Is that why you left the party early? 
I was in the mood for. What were you in the mood for? I just wanted to blow off some steam. Look, man, I didn't do anything wrong, okay? Christina screwed up big time, and she thought she'd get away with it. That's on her, not me. So you're saying that Christina got what she asked for? 